You guys, I just put a nose ring back in for everyone who's asking. It's been literally a year and a half since I've had a nose ring in. Um, I just picked this up from Claire's when I was at the mall yesterday and it just honestly slid right in like a dream. So back on my nose ring game. I'm going to quickly make some lunch, I guess. I'm eating at such weird times, but it's this amazing soba noodle green goddess bowl that I've been making and posting on Instagram if you've seen recently. Um, if not, go follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? And I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. It's super tasty, so delicious, high in protein and rich with vitamins. Got my Gardein filet fish. I just popped that in the air fryer. Next, I'm just cutting up some broccoli florets so that they're easier to cook. I saute them in some sesame oil because it adds some delicious flavor. And I'm just topping with some garlic and onion powder to add that extra pop of flavor. I'm cooking some buckwheat soba noodles. They're so delicious. And then once the broccoli has had time to cook a little, I add in some frozen edamame and a little bit of soy sauce for that uh, salty flavor. Next, I chop up a enormous, insane amount of spinach because I'm absolutely psycho. I don't recommend to use this much spinach, but I don't know what I was thinking. I season it a little bit with garlic powder and slowly steam it into the veggies. Now I am adding my tahini, lemon, garlic, maple, whatever dressing, um, which goes on the soba noodles. And I'm chopping up my filleted fish and now I'm plating everything. Uh, it looks super delicious, super easy. I'm adding some pickled ginger, some sesame seeds, and some hemp hearts. Does this not look so delicious? I literally can't. I honestly cannot wait to dig in. Like, look at this. Eats one out of mommy. So delicious. Good morning, you guys. So it's the day before I leave to go on my vacation to Mexico. So I'm just uh, packing and getting ready to pack. I'm in my storage unit. It's very packed, mostly empty boxes. This one's mine here. So I'm gonna get my luggage, look for some of my summer stuff, and Elio's gonna be nice and patient with me. So we made good progress. I found some clothes I might be interested in taking. I found my little baby boy Elio in my luggage now, so he's being a good sport. I'm just gonna pack everything back up and then be good to go. Good morning, you guys. I'm about to head out. I've got my bag packed. I've got a heavy carry-on, so hopefully that goes fine. And I've got my little baby boy here. I'm saying goodbye to him. Ooh, Emma's gonna come and pick him up, so it's almost that time. And I'm gonna head out. Oh my god, my voice. This is my airport outfit. I'm just like not gonna wear a full jacket, just like a puffer vest, because it is really cold here. And I have to travel to the airport, so that's gonna be like a little bit of a moment. Um, but it's the kind of thing where like I can wear it indoors and I'm not gonna sweat, but I'm also not gonna freeze on my way to the airport. And I'm thinking of actually like public transiting there, because I live pretty close to Union Station, which is the hub of it all. I'm so excited to be going to Mexico. It's gonna be so fun. So packed, literally I measured it. It's like 40 something pounds, 42 pounds, 43 pounds, 50 is the max. And then I've got a 20 pound carry on. <laughs> So I'm now in Playa del Carmen and I'm gonna go for a walk now, um, see the neighborhood, see Igor's mom. We're just visiting, we're friends. It's nice, there's no drama. Isn't it nice to be friends? Look how tanned he is. So I just wanna say what the about that horrible smudge on my lens. It's gonna be here for quite a couple shots, so just hang tight, guys.
So for my first night in Playa, we decided to go to a really amazing sushi restaurant called Sushi Club where I had the most amazing miso soup of my life. Some spicy edamame and some delicious sushi, of course. And this spicy cocktail was a welcome addition. Good morning, you guys. It's my second full day here on Playa del Carmen. And we are going to a popular vegan restaurant called Resi. And it sounds, or Rosie, Rosie, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You made the mistake. So it's actually called Rezio, my bad. It's gonna be so tasty. It's gorgeous here, I'm in paradise, and I can't believe it. The food was absolutely delicious at Rezio. It was such a sweet, nice cafe with a great ambience. I absolutely loved it, especially the waffles. They were so delicious. And of course, I had to share, I couldn't eat all that to myself. Next, we explored some of the malls that were nearby. They had gorgeous displays, and I absolutely loved the hanging vines from the ceiling. I was blown away that they were real. I got a little bit of work done in the afternoon, and then we went for a stroll along the beach. It was truly paradise. I can't describe how much I needed this. And the sunsets in Playa are absolutely breathtaking. Even if the wind is a little bit strong. Good morning, y'all. It's another beautiful, gorgeous, sunny day in Playa del Carmen. And today we are going to the cenotes, which are these large craters in the earth that have underground water caves and deposits. Sounds really magical, cool, spiritual, everything and more. So I'm just all suited up to go to the cenotes. It's gonna be some swimming, some cliff diving, which I don't know if I'll do the cliff diving part. I'm not the best swimmer and I don't like heights. It's like the worst mix for me, but it's gonna be gorgeous. I'm gonna take you guys with me. We'll see all the beautiful sights and we'll hang out together for the day. It'll be really nice. I'll do a little outfit of the day moment if you guys can even see. That's as far back as I can get, but you guys get the idea. To the Yucatan Peninsula. Over 7,000 cenotes live here in the Maya Ravine. Can you describe what a cenote is? A cenote is a deposit of water built up from rain and ocean minerals. They have existed for thousands of years. The ancient Mayan civilization used to consider them an entrance to the underworld. We'll drive from coast to coast Only to where we love the most I'm taking you to paradise, paradise You know where we're going tonight, going tonight Paradise, paradise After two full days of swimming in the cenotes, we decided to head back to the main strip in Playa. It's got so many amazing shops. 
amazing buskers in the streets. It's very lively, filled with lots of outdoor clubs and bars. And this night we decided to have some Thai food on 38th. It was so delicious. We had masamang curry and pad thai. Mornings in Playa are some of my absolute favorite time to be out because the sun is not yet so hot and you can go out and get some refreshing brunch. Here I went to Bio Natural and it had amazing guacamole, some of the best I've ever had. And I also had a celery detox juice and a full breakfast. So refreshing, so delicious and tasty. I recommend checking it out if you're there. They have a few locations. I'm pretty sure it's a chain, but they have lots of vegan and vegetarian options. I was able to spend a lot of time on the beaches soaking up the sun. We even went to a restaurant right on the water, which was so delicious, where I had a frozen strawberry margarita. I even got to play a game of beach volleyball. We won, which was very surprising since I lack skills as an athlete. After a busy day of laying on the beach, we of course had to go and get some nourishment. There's so many amazing cocktails. This was a vegan ceviche, which I got to try. It had grapefruit and and tangerine which kind of mimicked raw fish then we went to an Italian place and had this formaggio pizza and ravioli and just overall the sights are amazing I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog thank you for coming to Playa del Carmen with me and I'll see you guys soon